Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Coming all the way from Houston, Texas, off of Shepherd. I'm at the famous BMW Meat Company. Been here since 1959. We're gonna go inside, check out this place. And I'm gonna cook you up something really nice. You guys stay tuned, check it out. We got us some beef short ribs, people. We're gonna do these up right. Went out yesterday and got a brand new 22 inch uh, Weber Smoky Mountain. I had no idea how big these things were. Back home in Orlando, I got the 18 inch. Look how big this thing is. It's huge, it's massive. Big old 22 inch, and the size of this grill, look at that grill grate, 22 inches of surface area. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And in addition to that, we're gonna use this uh, Cowboy brand lump charcoal and see what this is all about. And uh, it's time to get it fired up. We're gonna also use these uh, Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips, you know, give us that nice uh, oak whiskey uh, flavor. So if you could just smell the inside of this this thing, let me see if I can get this thing open. Let me get a knife. Check this out, guys. Oh yeah, get you a whiff of that. Ah, you can smell the whiskey. So. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let me get this bag opened up right here, and let's go ahead and pour it inside of our Weber Smoky Mountain. There we go. And sure enough, wouldn't you know a plane to be flying through? So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use these little Weber cubes, help get it started. Just put one down in there, and we'll put one over here and get them fired up. There we go. We'll see what this uh, cowboy charcoal is all about give that a little bit and be ready to go put this back up there we want to open the vents up all the way right now that way we get that maximum airflow And get this one up here at the top as well, wide open. And we'll, once once it gets up to temp, we're going to try to dial it down and keep it at around 250, uh, 275. And that's what we're going to cook our meat on. So I went out yesterday to uh, the B&W meat market. This meat market has been here in Houston, Texas since 1959. Very well known within the communities. Went out there and talked to a gentleman by the name of Willis. A good friend of mine named Joe Hernandez suggested me that next time that I come in here uh, to Houston, 
you know, to H-Town. You know, you got to stop at this B&W place, check it out. They got a wide variety of meats and sausages and you name it. So he was nice enough to hook me up with these beautiful beef short ribs and we're going to get them unpacked and let you guys take a look at them. I'm not 100% sure if they need, they may need a little bit of trimming, but we're going to check it out. So come on down here. Let me get these opened up. We'll see what these ribs are all about. These BMW ribs. There we go. Definitely feel nice and tender. Doesn't look like they need much trimming. Looks like a lot of it has been uh, taken off. We may need to get some of this uh, uh, silver skin off, but I don't think that's too bad. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. That's some nice little marbling right there. Nice, thick, and the meat feels very, very tender. So I'm not 100% sure if this is, this could be prime, okay? Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to do it up. Let's see. Let's see if we can take some of this uh, silver skin off of it. Because, you know, this stuff right here just doesn't render... Uh, much into anything and you know you'll be chewing on this for a while and that's the last thing you want to do is to be chewing on this you know especially when you got some nice tender ribs down here on the bottom so i got majority of the fat trimmed off of this uh these beef, these beef ribs and all that's left to do now and, it, and keep in mind it doesn't have to be perfect you know they are coming right off the ribs so there's a lot of intramuscular fat tied in with the with with the, with the meat so try to get as much of that silver skin off as you can and then go at it from there but we're ready to put a little bit of olive oil on these uh these ribs there we go get them lathered up and what i did to the back side of it i scored uh, the membrane, get a little bit of this olive oil here on the side, and uh, we'll be ready to go. So, and what we're going to be using, we're going to be using our JPAP. This is a perfect blend of salt, pepper, garlic, probably the highest quality of uh, kosher salt, and uh, coarse black pepper and granulated garlic that you can get. So, let's get this seasoned up. And we'll be ready to go. There we go. Nice even layer of this. Oh my gosh, this thing smells so good. Pat it in there. I'm gonna pat it in a little bit down here. Get some on the ends of the ribs. You don't really need none on the bottom side because of that uh, membrane there. And there we go, did I get this side? Oh no, almost missed this important side right here. Here we go. Get that nice chunks of kosher salt put in there. And there it is guys. So, our Weber Smoky Mountain is coming up to Tampa. It's just a little bit above 250. We'll be ready to put these in in just a second. But all the meat is seasoned up. So the Weber Smoky Mountain has come up to Tampa. It's roughly just a little bit above 250. I went ahead and adjusted the vents to try to keep that temperature right around 250 to 275. It's time to get these, uh, these ribs in there. So here's what they look like. Check out those bad boys. Beautiful, nice little flexibility in there. So we're gonna come over here, get this taken off. And this Weber Smoky Mountain is big enough that you got room on both sides right here. And we're gonna put our temp probe. And that's it. Okay, and we're gonna monitor it for an internal temp uh, till it you know, I want to sit till it gets to about like what a brisket would get, you know, about 195. It shouldn't take too long. We'll see what happens. Shortcut ribs have hit their mark temperature. They are roughly 
at 192 degrees, it's time to get them off and let them rest. They look absolutely gorgeous. They're nice and tender. Here we go. Woo! And that's what they look like. Just look at that beautiful pullback on them bones. The meat is nice and tender. You can see as the knife is just going in. But we're gonna let these ribs rest just a little bit and then we're gonna cut into them. These ribs have been resting uh, for about 30 minutes. It's time to cut into it, see what they're all about. Let's go ahead and open these up. Just wanna show you this fabulous pullback on these bones right here. Man, that looks absolutely gorgeous. We get this out of this aluminum and just put them right there. And we'll put this right over here and let's go ahead and cut into these ribs and see what they're all about. Ooh wee. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. It's taking on a wonderful, good looking smoke ring. Let me get another one of these cut. There we go. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. So, let me, might as well get them all cut. And we're going to do a little taste test right here. Let me put it right over here. That, man, they look nice. They look gorgeous. Oh, man. Look at that. So, I don't know which one I'm going to try. I'm going to just try this one right here. So, let me cut it right off the, the bone. Oh man, look at that. Get me a little bite right here. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna horseradish this bad boy up. I like horseradish. We're gonna put a little bit of horseradish on it. And time to do a little taste test. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Ooh, that horseradish is kicking in. Mmm. This is, oh yeah. So that horseradish is coming in through the nose. I mean, this is fantastic. I'm going to get me another little bite. Mmm. Camera guy wants a, <laughs> wants a bite too. You want a bite? Here you go. Ah, that's pretty good, no? Oh my God. That's that JPAP on these ribs. They just came out fantastic. So anyhow, guys, I tell you what, I appreciate you guys watching my channel. If you could do me a favor right there in the corner, there's a little subscribe button. Click on that button and smash that bell. That'll get you future notifications of upcoming videos. And if you're interested in any of my products, there's a link right here. And I'm going to put it right there as well. You guys go out and check out my website. I got all these rubs and sauces for sale. Got merchandise on there. Those are the things that help support this channel. But besides that, I appreciate you guys watching. I love y'all. You guys take care. And I will see you on the next one.